All right. So, I just want to warn you, some of the things I'm going to review might be a little obscure. My grandma, back in the day, would rent weird videotapes that she thought would be cool for us kids to watch and put them, transfer them to another tape so we'd have them to watch. One of them was a 1974 animated film, Robinson Crusoe, an animated adaptation of Robinson Crusoe. When I was a kid, I actually liked reading the book. You know, it's a basic story. Guy's on a ship, he crashes, he's the only survivor. He ends up on this island and he meets these cannibals. He frees uh, another Native American Indian that they were going to eat. He names him Friday and yeah. The basic story. You've read it, seen many adaptations of it, but this one is a different uh, because it's it's an animated version for kids, so they have to change some of the things. The cannibalism is way way down, or they do show they're gonna boil Friday, uh, and because it's a kids film and you need more interactions than just one guy on an island with a uh, Native American or savage or whatever you call him that doesn't speak very good English. We have a parrot, two cats, and a dog. They all speak English for some reason. And I don't know if this was in the book, but here Robinson Crusoe is British. I don't know if that's just the voice actor. I guess this was an, an Italian company that made this, because I've seen Italian pictures on Google while looking. It's 1974, so there's a lot of politically incorrectness when it comes to the, well, the portrayal of the Native American cannibals. Uh, first of all, there's no discernible dialect that I can think of. They didn't try to make them talk like Indians. They just go, that's all they do. And this movie is an hour and 15 minutes long. And after a while, it gets annoying. There are some things that do kind of get annoying. Uh, the Native Americans, the cannibals, we'll call them the cannibals, not speaking English and just doing over and over again. Whoever did Friday's voice is very annoying. And yeah, busy Friday, they go booming, the doggy, and the kitty, kitty. Little annoying. And. While there is a, a music score in this, most of the time, you know, there's different musical scores in this. Most of the time, it keeps going back to the same kind of notes. Dun, 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 to the point that sometimes, even Friday, sometimes, it's like, okay, we get it. You maybe didn't have that much money. To do a full score where you keep going back to the same notes over and over again. And one final negative, sort of, is that it just ends. Like the movie, uh, they, you know, fight back against the cannibals, they win, ends. We see a ship in the ocean, but is it them? I, I don't know I don't know if I caught that, but is it them getting off? Because they were building a raft, and they had to wait to get to their ship, not to the island, so maybe they fixed the ship. I don't know. The animation is all right for 1974. I think it was the animation style at the time. It's very much kind of like Popeye. I think it works. The voice work is give and take. I like the voice for Robinson Crusoe. And the parrot the most. Uh, other than that, there's not really much. There's surprisingly quite a bit of content that you... There's, there's a bit of content that you might think might not be suitable for kids. Like, uh, well, uh, the bird gets sick and has to take his medicine, which they, you know, cough syrup. It just says syrup. But he doesn't like the taste of it, so he takes the label off, puts it on a bottle of rum, and decides to drink the rum. 
And then not only that, but he gives some to Friday when Friday falls asleep. He thinks the rum will help him stay alert. And he ends up walking all over the place, which I did laugh because it's kind of funny how he's walking around, he's walking on everything. There's a point where he like steps on a bird and he keeps patting it, eggs keep falling out, but then the eggs grow wings and come after him. I, it's kind of stupid. And in the same moment of a drunk of a drunk kid walking, you see he's walking up to the crow's nest and the two cats are making out. And then like the girl cat freaks out because the you know, he's walking on the tightrope. Then as soon as he leaves, she goes like this. And the male kid, again, this is like, it's a kid's movie. A drunk a little boy. A little drunk boy. I'm assuming, may maybe in the story he was an adult. But here, it sort of implies that it's an adolescent. That I can tell. Then the two cats may not. The dog is always asleep. He doesn't do much anyway. And like I already mentioned, the cannibals speak one language. It's like they didn't know what language to give them, so we'll just have them speak gibberish. But there's no subtitles for them. We don't know what they're saying. It's just constantly. Some might consider that to be a little bit racist, but it's a kid's film from 1974. Back then, you know, they had, who knows? on a TV with Popeye and Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry and all that politically incorrectness they had back then. But all in all, I'd say this is a decent film to show your kids. Yes, maybe nowadays some people might say, oh, you can't show this to your kids. I think it's fine. I would show my son. See, I go by this. Would I show... I go by this, if it works for kids, would I show it to my son? Now, I might not, you know, if I were you, go by that, because I also show him horror movies, to a point. Like, back in, back in October, I showed him some Friday the 13th movies. They were on cable, so that means no boobies and not too much gore. But he's not afraid of gore anyway, I don't think. So I think he'll be fine. But I'm just saying. Start and slow with the TV version to cut out stuff. You know, that works. But this, I think it's fine. Some of those parents who might, you know, not like the political incorrectness of it, don't watch it. But I think your kids will be fine. It's, it's, it's designed for kids, right? It's, uh, it's Robinson Crusoe. Based off a book, which I I read when I was a kid. Fun book. Fun story. Well, this is the fun story. And I remember the book being too you know, nice, so to speak. It's been forever since I read the book, but this is fine. So, I'll just say, I give Robinson Crusoe... Seven out of ten. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's one I watched a lot when I was a kid. Just It's one thing. The recording my grandma did, it cuts off the beginning. So you, there, I think the recording I had, they had already crashed. So, yeah. But it was fun to watch. It was very fun to watch. And I, I found myself like my ass off at this thing. Because it was so funny. Uh, yeah. Uh... So what are your thoughts on the Robinson Crusoe cartoon from 1974? Leave me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one.